shall reflect on the life of Saint Frumentius. Frumentius and Adesius were young Greek disciples of Meropius, a philosopher from Tyre in Phoenicia, whom they were reportedly accompanying on a voyage to India. Their vessel was shipwrecked on the Abyssinian coast and the entire crew perished while the two youths were captured and pressed into service at the court of the king of Abyssinia. When they grew to manhood, they were given their liberty and assigned positions of trust. Saint Frumentius was even made royal administrator. On the death of the king whom they had succeeded in converting, the widowed queen prevailed upon the brothers to supervise the education of the princes. Frumentius used his position and influence to advance the spread of Christianity. Edicius returned to Tyre after some years and became a priest there. In the interest of furthering the Christianization of Abyssinia, Saint Frumentius went to Egypt and requested Saint Athanasius to send a bishop and some priests to his adopted country. To the Holy Patriarch, Frumentius seemed the most suitable man, and so he consecrated him bishop. The see was established at Aksum, the young king was baptized, and many churches were built, and the faith spread all through the kingdom. Saint Frumentius is believed to have made the first translation of the New Testament into Ethiopian. The people reverenced him as Abuna or Abba Salama, the father of peace, titles which are to this day given to the Metropolitan of the Ethiopian Church.